Hey there guys, Gaming UK Media here and today I am back with another Pixelmon um, update. Um, basically yesterday they announced that 3.2.4 was not as stable as they thought it would be um, and they reported that there were some small issues. So basically they've um, released a new up a small update um, fixing the you know the most apparent issues that were um, viable in the 3.2.4 update. You know they added quite a lot into that update. So it was only a, only a matter of time before bugs started appearing and you know I played it for a few minutes and I realized most of the things in the changelog. So let's go have a look at the changelog first of all. Um, okay so the things they've changed. Wild Pokemon Fleeing is now configurable. In 3.2.4 it was an absolute bane um, to the gameplay of Pixelmon. Basically you know the first thing you do when you start a world or you join a server is you go and find magic up. And why do we go and find Magic Up? We go and find Magic Up because they're easy to kill. They can't attack you until they're like level 15, and you can basically just grind off a Magic Up. That sounds really dodgy. You can, you can EXP grind with a Magic Up um, until you're strong enough to, of course, fight other wild Pokémon, or you can make Pokéballs to catch other wild Pokémon. Um, and yeah, that's basically what you do when you join a new game or a server. Um, okay, so the next thing is they resized a few of the Pixelmon. Um, yeah, they resized a few of the Pixelmon. They've resized Combuskin, Spiro, and Torchic. Now, when I was doing my uh, tutorial for the 3.2.4, I was messing around a bit, and you could see that Spiro was quite large, in fact, so I think they must have resized him to make him smaller, or you know, to spawn less of the enormous size Spiros in, because he was uh, awesomely big. Awesomely big, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, they've also fixed the issue where battles could fail if initialized, and then would spam the console. So basically they just released text jargon. Released, removed. Yeah, they removed the, uh, the jargon that would spam the console and make you freeze. Um, trader fixes, that is pretty much all it entails for a description. Um, they've removed a line from Pokespawn to allow for statuses to work. That is it, right, we're going to download it. Go to the downloads page, just click uh, download. I've already downloaded it actually, so I don't need to do it again. Uh, skip the five second thing, and then there should be one at the top that says download. It'll be another timer, it'll be like 15 seconds or something. Um, so I've actually dragged it out on the desktop already. Uh, make sure you install Forge. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then I probably got it in my other videos. I will find it and link it in the description or put one of them things in the video that allows you to click on it and it will take you straight to the video in a new page. Um, so yeah. Uh, replacing a old Pixelmon uh, modded directory, um, you basically just go to percent app data. You can do that via the start method or you can do it the way that I do and use run. Uh, much easier that way. All you've got to do is hit Windows and R and the run box will appear. And then you type in the directory name and it just memorizes it for the next time. You don't have to keep going back and forth to the start menu, type in percent update or, or having a shortcut on your desktop or any of those, you know, things that just irritate the hell out of people. Um, so basically, yeah, then you're going to want to go to mods. And I don't have any versions of Pixelmon installed at the moment. I've literally just got Forge and some other mods. Um, all of these mods can be used without Pixelmon, or they can all be used with Pixelmon uh, because of Forge, basically. So, this is the file that you just downloaded. Just drag it in there. That's all you do. I'm going to copy it, though, because I want to... No, I'm not going to create a shortcut. I'm really good at doing that. Um, I'm just going to delete that one. Yes. And uh, copy the one I want, and I'm going to put it in my server real quick, because I, I want to use the... Uh, ser oh, I've already got it in there. Yeah, because I just I just installed this, so it's already in there. So basically, you just drag it into the server. Before this is exactly the same folder um, as when I when I did my uh, how to install the Cauldron for 1.7.10 version of Forge, um, Cauldron slash Bucket or whatever it's called. I don't know. It used to be called MCPC Plus. Now it's called Cauldron. Don't know, don't know why. I'm not gonna find out. But uh, it's now called Cauldron anyway. So we're just gonna load up Minecraft wherever it is, there it is, and uh, and yeah we're just gonna go have a look 
Um, and see what happens when you enter a battle, because I just want to test the, the run thing. It was so annoying, like when you were trying to kill a magic art and you would just get it down to like the most meanest guild bit of health, and it, you know, it, it would just flee from battle, and then you've got to fight again. Uh, you've used up most of your PP trying to kill um, a level magic up that's twice your level, and uh, yeah, it's very frustrating um, when you're trying to just join a game and uh, beat up some magic up. Now this is my world where, actually I think this was in my last tutorial that I made this world, um, I just found a Pokemon Center and it was all blocked off so I went into game mode and um, basically just got rid of it. Um, not the Poké Center, I mean the stuff that was blocking it off because I, you know, I might actually do a Let's Play or something on this world and I might install the Safe Place side mod and that every time I die it takes me here and then I can make like a, a small village and stuff around it. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about in this video. Um, you know, you guys can leave a comment in the description. Uh, comment in the description. Then you can leave me a comment down below um, if you think that I should do a let's play. I think it'd be pretty interesting and and cool. And I'm just breaking random grass right now because grass sucks. Um, but yeah, or I could do like a let's build. Let's play. I don't really know. I could just play play Pixelmon and talk to you guys about some random shit, whatever is going on in the, the life these days. Um, but yeah, it'll pretty much just be me punching wood for like the first couple of episodes <laughs> while I build. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go find a battle. Preferably one that, um, that I can actually win or have a chance of winning. Or just stay in the battle long enough that I can see if they quit or not. And by quit I mean flee. And not the sort of fleas that dogs get. Um, yes, hello Vero, how are you doing? You know, um, I'm not quite sure what update it is that it was uh, implemented in, but um, the EV um, growl is really strange. <laughs> um, I was traveling the other day and I just heard this thing and it went, Eevee, Eevee. I was like, what the fuck? Because before it used to be like a really high pitch, like Eevee, and now, it, and now it's just like Eevee, Eevee, Eevee. It's like drowsy, 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 but it's like Eevee, Eevee. It's really, really freaky, and uh, yeah, they really need to um, put it back to the old one. Okay, there we go. Level eight magic card. My Charmander is going to shit all over you. Okay, let's just growl at him because I want to know if he's going to run or not. Um, in the last update, they um, also implemented the fact that I could run. If I was a much higher level than them, I can run. If I'm at a much lower level than them, I'm going to have a much less chance of being able to run. Um, obviously, when they start adding in abilities, um, things like Arena Trap and whatever is going to come into effect as well. Because you can actually run, I think, when you're um, under arena trap. Why is my screen gone black? Surely it's not night time already. Oh no, it is going night time. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh my god, it's an execute. Jesus. I thought it was just a demented chicken. <laughs> oh, I've never actually seen an execute in the wild. Perhaps they've uh, changed the spawning biomes for the execute. Um, but yeah, seeing as it's going to be getting to dark, I'm literally just going to head back to the PKM center. And, uh, I don't know why I just said it like that. It's because I'm cool. Too cool for school. Uh, what is that? Is that Baltics? No, it is a flower. How could I mistake that for Baltics? Wow, I just... <laughs> I just fell that up. Anyway, guys, um, if you had found this tutorial at all useful, uh, it's not really a tutorial, but, you know, all that sort of shit, and, um, yeah, basically just leave me a subscribe, a like, or just comment. Yeah, and about what I said before about the, what the hell are these all the wrong way around? <laughs> yeah, the uh, trading machines are offline because I'm in single player. Oh, and the PCs apparently as well too. And the healing machines, right, there's some serious problems going on there. Um, but yeah, if you, if you guys think I should do a let's play, just tell me and, you know, it can easily be done. Um, I've got some, got plenty of time to do it at the moment. Well, I don't, but I'll find time to do it. 
at least a couple of episodes or whatever, just to keep you guys entertained for a little while. And uh, yeah, basically, just uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I will be seeing you shortly in the future or hearing from you. It's always good to hear from you guys. Um, you know, even if you've got a problem, like uh, I know on my Cauldron um, video installation thing, it's like the only video that people have been watching, but never mind. Um, yeah, that people are having a few problems, and you know, I don't know why they're having those problems. Maybe they're just not doing something, or I didn't explain it quite 100%, you know, like installing Cauldron for dummies sort of style. Uh, no offense. Um, but yeah. So basically, yeah, if you're having any troubles with that, you can always just email me or I don't have a Facebook or Twitter yet, but you could always just, you know, Facebook chat, uh, you know what I mean, Facebook inbox or, um, not Facebook, I mean YouTube. I'm talking about YouTube, guys. Just ignore me. Oh, shit, I'm in a battle. And yeah, um, I'm going to own this spinner. I'm going to absolutely own him. I can't actually see him right now because... I'm all blurry because of these trees. Ah, oh, damn. Okay, yeah, I did own him. Sweet. I leveled up twice. Um, and yeah, basically, um, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I shall be seeing you when we have some future updates of Pixelmon. Um, thank you. I hope you guys have a nice day.